Hello everyone and welcome back to my Japanese prefecture tour in Microsoft Flight Sim 2020. We're picking up where I left off last time uh, from Tanegashima in Japan. Technically that is Kagoshima prefecture. We already uh, started out our exploration of Kagoshima prefecture, but uh, Kagoshima mainland is down here. And so we'll be, and the city is right here. Well, actually it's sort of down here-ish, but you can see I've plotted a zigzaggy path and that's because I plan to explore uh, Kagoshima down here uh, somewhat. Uh, though I don't know all the sites that we might want to hit. Uh, so this is sort of what I plan on covering initially. And then uh, Miyazaki here. And then uh, Kumamoto there. And then Nagasaki here. And Nagasaki is one of the, the handcrafted airports. So we do want to take a look at that. So that is the plan. Okay, here we are at Tanagashima Airport, and I've chosen the DA-62 this time. Because it's cute. And we will see how it goes, so... On we go. Okay, and on we go. I wonder what that mountain is. It attracted my attention last time. That island is also interesting. Let me take a look at the island, actually. The city is Nishino, Nishino Omote. And then the island over there is Mageshima. It looks like it has sort of makeshift runways on it, but I'm not sure if that's what I'm looking at. That's why I want to check it out. Mageshima means Horsehair? Horsehair Island? Okay, I sort of see where that mountain is on the map. But I, I can't see the name yet. Let me take a look at what the name is. Uh, Kaimondake Volcano. Kaimondake Volcano is that uh, peak that I keep seeing. Well, there's bound to be a few volcanoes around here. Look on the horizon that uh, it was Yakushima, right? Yakushima is really tall, it's a very tall island. Yeah, that, that looks like runways to me on Mageshima, but we'll see. Well, these would probably use as runways at one point in time. Otherwise, they're sort of a remarkably convenient shape, <laughs> uh, but I don't. They're not. They're obviously not maintained in any way. So okay, I think I'll head to the volcano. So we're deviating a bit. We're gonna go here and then there to Kanoya. Okay, so we are now over the southern tip of Kagoshima. There's a peninsula that sort of sticks out. No, there's some camping grounds. Odomari. Odomari post office shows up. So maybe there's Odomari. Though I don't know how to whether to believe it or not because it indicates a public safety office in the middle of that bay. So but otherwise, there's a boat rental service, fish store, camping ground. So that makes a lot of sense, actually. There's a Ryugu Shrine. Hold on, I guess we might have to descend to see that. I don't know if they put the shrine or not. It wasn't a point of interest on the map. So this little cape here is called Cape Nagasaki Bana. Not in Nagasaki, it's just called Nagasaki Bana. There's a Satsuma Nagasaki Bana lighthouse that's supposed to be here. A statue of Taro Urashima and then a Ryugu shrine. I think that one building right there is supposed to be the Ryugu shrine. That's all we got. Oh well. So there's the Kaimondake Volcano. 
Let's see if I push it whether I can climb all the way to the top from here. Lots of trees. Okay, alright. I'm going too slow. I can't quite make it all the way up. Okay. So, turning... Uh, there's a Lake Ikeda. That's that lake in the middle there. And we're headed towards Ibusuki. Which is that city right there. Oh, there's a big building that's supposed to be right there. I don't know what that is based on the map though. There's an Ibusuki hot spring, but I don't think it's supposed to be that big. It's a hot spring, it's not like a arena. So I think that might be a mistake. This big building is not supposed to be a building like that at all. So there's Ibusuki. But alright, we're gonna go back across the bay to where I was originally supposed to go. Which is Kanoya. Okay, so approaching Kanoya, you can see the airport there that I targeted in the in the map ahead of time, so that was our waypoint. Interesting, uh, not much of a port city, huh? It's got this nice coastline, but mostly Kanoya is inland. Oh, I think, uh, well, no, even on the other side of, of the peninsula, they don't seem to have much of a port going on. They've left some room. We'll take a look at that. But, so, here's Kanoya. Uh, Autogen buildings, I don't see anything particularly special or such. It'd still look good if we drop down. This part of the city is mostly in a grid format. Uh, I'm not gonna go all the way there, but there is a town closer to the opposite coast. Which would be the Pacific Ocean side. So there's the bay. Kagoshima Bay, and then there's the Pacific Ocean side, but they still don't have a port. They still have greenery closer to the coast instead of facilities or anything. So I'm just gonna turn around and we'll head to Kago Kagoshima City now. So the airfield is actually uh, Kanoya Air Base for the self-defense force. Oh, th this is a nice formation. This right here. This is some nice... sort of terraced thing. You can see a volcanic island in the middle of Kagoshima Bay there. And that is Sakurajima. Well, the, the island is Sakurajima. So, Sakura Island. There's a Kurokami Buried Shrine Gate on that island. That sounds interesting. We'll, we'll see if there's anything interesting there. I like mountains, so... Is it really an island, or...? I mean, there's sort of this strip of land that's connecting to it. So, is Sakurajima actually an island? Jima indicates island. Uh, there's some water here, but I think it's connected actually. I think it's technically a peninsula. I mean, it's just this bit here that looks a little bit sloppy. But then, you know, cliffs are hard. Just trying to fix the mesh a little bit. Ooh, uh, if I can get 
high enough we can like take a look at the col uh, the, the interior. Of course, this is a game. They're not gonna show anything interesting. But uh, it's sort of a pit here. And out. Kagoshima. That's the city across there. This side, I think uh, some of the textures look a little bit better over over around here. This part looks much more interesting. Is this bit looking right? Let's take a look. Marine port. It just says marine port and aquatic center. And when it says aquatic center, it means marine boat something. I don't know. Interesting. Looks like half flooded. I think this cluster of buildings here is Kagoshima University, Sakura Gaoka campus. I'm looking at that right. So I think that's the university there. This is another uh, Kagoshima University though. That's just one of the campuses. Big building over there. This, I don't know what that is. I think that's the campus of something else. Uh, Shimo, Shimo Arata campus of the, of the university. It's all the university, there's, there's either universities or, or sports centers indicated on the map. You can see the baseball diamond and all that business there. Uh, but yeah, there's a whole lot of Kagoshima University going on here. I think this uh, sports center is actually associated with the university as well. I'm not sure. But I think so. Otherwise, I don't see anything that catches my eye. Uh, well, this, this is a little complex over here. Uh, that I think that building is just not quite right. To be honest. Okay, so that is Kagoshima. Kagoshima, Kagoshima. They don't do stresses in Japanese, it's tonal. So I have to I have to sort of be in the mindset to even approximate what the tonal thing is for the names. I lapse into uh, stressed way of doing things which is how English does it so well we got some nice windmills up here or wind turbines up here and we're headed towards a uh, city called Ira A I R A this is a nice place it seems to be uh, I think those are solar panels so with the wind turbines it's sort of a power facility up here yeah, so this is Ira. That's a, that's a interesting building they decided to put there. Apparently that interesting building is... I don't know, it's there. I mean, it's something like it is there, but I don't know what it is actually. Interesting. It has uh, that color roof, but it's not quite shaped the same way. So the city, that's Ira behind us, in front of us is Kirishima. 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 And Kirishima will be the last city that's fully in uh, Kagoshima. There's a big building right there. Who? Let me see if I can find that thing on the side of a river. Shouldn't be too hard. It's supposed to be... Oh, uh, it, it, there's more than one building. They, it, it's sort of a amalgamate. Hey, Sony! Well, it says Sony there. 
So that's suggestive. Yep, and on the map it uh, has Sony written on top of that, obviously. Uh, I mean, on the satellite imagery. But there's a whole lot of buildings. It's not just one building there. There's uh, lots and lots of buildings. It's like a... It's some sort of factory, I think. But on, on the side of the road here is sort of a mall. But maybe it is just a Sony facility. Uh, there's a mall there too, so it's confusing to me because maybe it's a mall. But I'm not sure. I mean, maybe the big buildings are also part of the mall. But then on the river side of the big buildings, there's some stuff that looks like a factory. So The river through Kirishima is uh, called the Amori River. So that's the one right here. There's a nice big mountain right there. Take a look at that. Uh, but I guess we'll hit our indicated target first and swing to it. I think that's... Uh, no, I don't know. There's a Mount Takachiho and a Mount Karakuni. That could be uh, Takachiho and that could be Karakuni. We're headed towards Miyazaki. That's the RJFM indicated there. So that's the city that we're aimed for but we'll deviate and we're crossing from Kagoshima prefecture to Miyazaki prefecture you can still see Sakurajima behind us in the middle of the bay got a little bit of a building right there uh, the textures aren't too bad they didn't look great from a distance but this around here is straightening up. Uh, there's obviously a cloud baked into it around here. So that's not the best, but still very good. So Mount Takachiho. Is there a little house there? Seems like it. But yeah, there's a lot of calderas around here. This was obviously a very active hotspot kind of thing. I thought about doing a crater tour for meteor impacts. Don't know how good that would be. Uh, could be interesting. So that's one. And then there's sort of a less distinct one over here. There's one over there. And this is Mount Karakuni here. You can sort of see there's a, the, the lake there. That's also one. And then sort of a ring around them. This, this place just had a lot of mountains blowing their tops. This sort of, I think there's one right there. Yep. So yeah, that lake is very nice with that. And then there's a few more here. Jeez. Yeah, this is uh, especially volcanic little area here. So Miyako no Jo is known as the. I'm just reading off a of wiki here. Miyako no Jo is known as the birthplace of the Shimazu estate, the largest estate or manor of uh, medieval Japan. Apparently founded by uh, Taira no Suimoto. And so that's the city in front of us here. So again, we've basically crossed over into Miyazaki Prefecture. I don't know, maybe uh, the Joe in this case just means manor instead of a castle, but normally it's a castle. It is the city center right here from the map. I don't know, I don't think all the buildings are being represented properly, to be honest. There's definitely... This patch seems to be not quite right. I feel like the autogen is 
underpopulating things somewhat. There's a lot of little stuff for over here. See, uh, lots of cars, maybe? It doesn't seem like there'll be that many cars. Maybe there are, but that's a lot. So there are actually a lot of points of interest in Miyazaki. I've identified two that I'd like to see. And the first is the Peace Tower, which should be tall. And there's also a um, Sea Gaia and Ocean Dome close to the coast. I don't... Sea Gaia... I... well... I don't know what it entails, but... It's an identifiable structure, so we'll take a look. Well, there's an interesting sort of quarry-like thing right there. I'm trying to find the name of it. Anyway, you can see Miyazaki in clear view now. There's the runway. That's an interesting location for an airport. Sort of sticking out just a little bit. And uh, the river is the o Oyodo River. Oyodo River. And yeah, apparently this is a tourist, touristy spot. Or Japanese even. Uh, so they've got attractions and that sort of thing. Well, I think I see the location of the Tower of Peace, but I don't think we're going to get much of a tower out of it. I think it's right there. This here is a municipal university, Miyazaki Municipal University, I think. So that's what that was supposed to be. And around here, there's supposed to be a Tower of Peace somewhere around here, but I don't think they managed it. That's a nice little garden, though. And that lake is nice. But yeah, oh, uh, maybe that. Uh, somewhere around here. Tower of Peace plus Baseball Park. So yeah, they don't have that particular monument here. Not a big surprise, to be honest. So, yep, yeah, this is the beach side. I think uh, this area here is the Sea Gaia Resort. But it doesn't look as fancy as it should, uh, it does in the photos, so. Yeah. But yeah, this is the Sea Gaia Resort area. Beaches off to the right. Anyway, so that is Miyazaki. So next up on our flight, we're gonna head towards Kobayashi town. And it uh, this is about a city of 44,000, but it's on the north side of those mountains, the volcanoes. And taking a look, um, the volcanoes are just collectively called the um, Kirishima Mountains. But Kobayashi seems to have a lot of castles, lots of points of interest. I guess maybe being on the north side of those volcanoes helps. Incidentally, the Peace Tower was is apparently at the site of a legendary Emperor's Palace. So that hill that we flew over with the lake and all was apparently uh, a palace grounds. Okay, well, Google Maps is showing me all the schools in, in Kobayashi, some clinics, hospitals, the post office. Very helpful for people who live there, I suppose, but it's not showing me the castles or the sites otherwise. Butcher's shop, home improvement store. Well, let me just take a look at Kobayashi, the city, first. Well, this right here is apparently the city center. I mean, it's just a town, really. 54,000. Uh, it's a city, I guess. But it's certainly rural. 
Okay, trying to find this Uchikoba castle. Well, I don't think that castle's there anymore or something. Some of these might have been castles once upon a time, but not really in their full glory anymore. Okay, I think we should just proceed to the next location. Anyway, Kobayashi City. And environs. Now, Kumamoto should definitely have a castle. It's apparently the city's most famous landmark. It's big. There's the famous Satsuma Rebellion, uh, which entailed an assault of it. Okay, so full disclosure, the game froze and I had to restart the flight from where I left off. So I just placed the plane in flight uh, where we were when the game crashed. Since I didn't want to restart from the beginning of the flight. So apologies for that, but we are approaching Yatsushiro, which is a southern... Uh, suburb, I guess you could call it, of Kumamoto, and then Kumamoto is off to the right. We'll try and visit Kumamoto Castle. But Yatsushiro is sort of where this delta is. So we'll visit it first. Okay, so the hills outside Yatsushiro, and there's Yatsushiro. Don't know too much about it. Nice looking uh, river outlet though. The river is the Kuma River, which is appropriate for Kumamoto Province or Prefecture. Kuma is bear. By, uh, yep, it's bear. The, the kanji is bear as well. Moto means origin, source, foundation, root, cause. So, May Kumamoto is the origin of bears? Not sure. Anyway, on to Kumamoto City. I don't think there are any particular sites in Yatsushiro. I still have yet to see any trains in the game. Which is interesting. There's a truck that's not quite following the roadway there, but trains I have not seen. I mentioned that because there's a train line that I'm following right now. Okay, I think we're over Minami Ward or South Ward of uh, Kumamoto. Uh, coming up as we get close to the river there. You can see uh, we got a substantial train station here. terminal. This river is called Midori Kawa, so Midori River or Green River. I mean the surrounding area is pretty darn green to begin with. And then uh, beyond this Green River we're getting into the proper part of Kumamoto City. And this next river is White River, uh, Shirakawa. So this is the city. Not looking too bad at all. And as we pass this, we should be coming up on the castle soon. The castle should be over here. Sort of see a structure there, but I don't know what it's going to look like. There's a baseball field. It's 
somewhere, uh, some of these buildings ought to be Kumamoto Castle. But I don't, I don't feel like they've done Kumuno, Kumamoto Castle here. Definitely not. I think some, uh, the, this set of buildings probably ought to be it or something. But that's just generic autogen right now. Anyway, we'll fly over the airport and then proceed onward to Nagasaki Prefecture. Kumoto uh, has around 700,000 residents and then the vicinity has 1.4 million. Greater Kumamoto has 1.4 million. Okay, so the game crashed again and it's it was because of the VFR map, so no more VFR map. Anyway, uh, that should be... I placed myself uh, in flight a little bit high though, above Kumamoto, and that's the airport, I believe. Do not press the map button. <laughs> so next up, we're headed to Nagasaki Prefecture. So there's a higher view of Kumamoto. And we'll be headed across the Ariake Sea to Nagasaki. There are some definite sites in Nagasaki, so we'll try and take a look at them. Some uh, points of interest that the game actually has identified. So this river that we're sort of going along is the White River Shirakawa. The palace grounds that we flew over is right back there. Or castle grounds, I should say. And across the sea, or the bay, is uh, Mount Unzen. You can see it very clearly. Very prominent mountain. The city at the foot of it is Shimabara. Okay, well we've got some nice clouds adding to the mystery as we approach Mount Unzen. And the clouds clearing just in time, and there's the mountain. And uh, that's Shimabara to our right. There's Minami Shimabara to our left. Minami just means south, so it's Shimabara and South Shimabara. So this is Nagasaki Prefecture. The city of Nagasaki is sort of on the next peninsula over. So we're heading towards that. We can take a look at the map in here, perhaps. If we zoom out, you can see this is the Mount Unzen Peninsula, if you will. And then over here is Nagasaki. And then the airport's up there. So we're headed towards Nagasaki and then we'll turn around to go to the airport. The airport's actually closer to Omura, another city. And, then, and Omura's on Omura Bay, which is this bay here. Looking pretty good. We got some stuff leading up to it. Very interesting. Okay, with mountains and still visible behind us there, we see to our right Omura Bay, that's here, and also to our right is the, sh the city of Isahaya, but then we're headed towards Nagasaki, where we can sort of see it peeking out there, but it's surrounded by mountains or hills and the marker that I have set up is for a point of interest so we'll see where exactly that is and this is sort of a Nagasaki suburb over here but I don't know what the name of it is it's got the Nagasaki penguin aquarium at it apparently the island to the right of us is Maki Island. I think the point of interest is uh, Hashima or uh, Gunkanjima, also known as Hashima. And that 
as uh, Google Maps describes it, is a tiny ab abandoned island with ruins. Abandoned 16-acre island and UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its industrial ruins and seawall. So we'll see how that looks. But that's what we're aimed for. We've got a bit of a port thing here, which is sort of tied to Nagasaki, the city, but Nagasaki, the city, is right over this peninsula here. So this, this peninsula sticks out this way, and then Nagasaki is over there. So we'll, we'll go take a look quickly. It looks like our point of interest is to the south, though. But then after we visit the point of interest, we'll come back around and fly over Nagasaki a little bit better. So we'll get a general sense of it here. Uh, I get the feeling there's a bridge there that I could do with some work. Anyway, uh, this is Nagasaki, you see here. It's sort of along this canal. I don't know if it goes all the way across into uh, Omura Bay. Probably. Well, probably that goes all the way into Omura Bay. But there's Omura Bay there, and so this is Nagasaki here. It's sort of a dramatic place to be. I mean, you can barely see the city coming, uh, approaching from the east and uh, with all the hills around. And on to the left here is Megami Bridge. And it's, it's, a, it's a better looking site in real life than it is right here right now. It's a full suspension bridge, and they're not really showing it, unfortunately. But you can see it's sort of a gateway bridge to the bay here. So obviously it should be better, and you can see extensive port facilities around Nagasaki. Famous port city. For a while, the only, for two centuries, the only place uh, Europeans could come and do business in Japan. So more port facilities over here. You can see scoping the area around. It's sort of sprawling. The city sort of sprawls into every nook and cranny between the hills. I think that's the island that we're looking for there. Plenty of not abandoned islands. Uh, the one to our uh, right is Takashima Machi. Takashima, and then Machi is town, so Takashima is probably the island, and Machi is a town. But anyway, so this is the point of interest uh, Hashima or Kukanjima. It's a ruin. Sort of a nice looking ruin, but a ruin nonetheless. Abandoned buildings. And the seawall. I wonder what it's all about, really. Let me see if I can find an image of the real thing. Uh, for once, the green, the real thing looks looks greener and has more trees. <laughs> for once, uh, it more or less looks the same. Uh, except when you get really close in, they have some, got some close in pictures, and it's really like decrepit and uh, it's like bombed out basically so that's more or less why it's abandoned it's like those buildings are completely falling apart or fallen apart if you just look at it the way we saw it it looks like well why don't they just you know build a hotel on you know use it as a hotel but no uh You'd probably have to spend quite a lot of money clearing that up in order to turn it into something anyway. 
probably ought to be more ships around. That's one sort of ship right there. Uh, at least it looks like a port. It's not like that one French city where uh, too long, which uh, its port was like not there. <laughs> so at least this looks like a port city, but the big building to our left there, that's probably something important. Oh, uh, I think there's Mitsubishi facilities, Mitsubishi dry dock and Mitsubishi shipyard. So I think that's what uh, all that is. You can see a sort of shape of a ship there. So yeah, that's that's Mitsubishi facilities. Uragami River is the river that we're following here. And this park in the middle of the river here is, uh, is it's called a pe uh, no uh, off the side here is the Peace Park. That's the Peace Park. And then there's supposed to be a baseball stadium right here. Obviously, that hasn't come in. Uh, they got a lot of other baseball stadiums. I don't know why they messed that this one up. But, yeah, that's supposed to be a baseball stadium. But, yeah, that right there is the Peace Park. The river is sort of deviated to the right there and then goes into that lake. And then... I try to see if there's any sort of continuous way for something to go through, but I don't think so. I don't think there's a direct canal through. A lot of little waterways. I think some, to some extent the river has been messed up here. You can sort of see it tried to do some river, but then it tried to do some riverish stuff here, but it doesn't seem to know what to do with this river. <laughs> oh well, anyway, uh, here we are at the other end of Nagasaki, the Omura Bay end. So, uh, view of Nagasaki from this side. It's a heck of a place. So, maybe the river ends up going that through that way somehow. And ships can go through, I don't know. Okay, so let's see if we can see the sites closer to Omura. And we can see the airport, I think. I think that island is the airport. So Nagasaki Airport is one of the handcrafted airports. So we'll take a good look at it on the flyover. We see Nagasaki written in the field there. Oh, uh, solar panels rendering in, okay. We could have rendered in a little bit earlier. I hear another plane around. Nope, uh, definitely custom buildings. These are not the autogen ones. But yeah, I, uh, the solar panels could definitely render in a little bit earlier. That's a little bit distracting. That's, that's just uh, an adjacent runway. Probably the older runway. Uh, this island doesn't seem to have anything important. Just a lot of trees. So we'll fly over Omura a bit and then land at the airport. I think there's, uh, there ought to be something. Uh, I thought there was on the map. Well, let me see. I'll...
I'll go ahead and turn on, oh, I think it's under assistance, the points of interest markers, even though I hate those and they never show them in time. Let's turn them on and see what we've got here. Well, apparently the bridge. I didn't think it was the most remarkable bridge ever. Anything else around? Okay, well, apparently the bridge is special. But boy, they should have probably done the bridge over at Nagasaki Bay instead. <laughs> I think they got the wrong bridge. It is, uh, I'm just not appreciating this bridge very much. There must be something interesting about the bridge. I actually got landing clearance. Number two for landing. Oh, I have to go around. Seriously? Okay, fine. Let's just expedite going around. You do that pattern, fella. Okay, well, I think we're the first to be, uh, to come in, so hopefully no airliner is going to get in my way this time. Oh, what is that guy doing? Oh, there's another little plane there, too. Right, okay, fine. Okay, King Air taking off, and an Airbus A320 taking off right behind it. Anybody else? This whole probably a whole. I, I see a whole bunch of little planes there. So taking a cl closer look at Nagasaki Airport. I think it's the only big airport, you know, only international in airport that they actually added. Actually, I don't know how international it is. I think it's international. All the other airports are really tiny. As far as handcrafted airports, of course, we're talking about. Okay, so Nagasaki Airport. Well, let's not park right behind the airliner. Okay, I think I found myself a parking space. Right here. So, having arrived at Nagasaki Airport, and these textures are actually pretty good. Well, yeah, I mean, pretty good. And, uh, yep, so this has been a tour of many prefectures, Kagoshima, Miyazaki, Kumamoto, and Nagasaki. And next time we'll proceed on to more of Kyushu. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.